Good morning, so here's the uh, fadeable weapons, or maybe handguns, small guns, long guns that are fadeable in the game. And there's one weapon, or maybe weapon, that isn't available yet. Uh, or at least not in the game yet at the moment anyway. So here's your, that was your small guns, now you've got your long guns. Then... Some of these guns are alright, I mean, my standard guns are shotgun, uh, beehive gun, and uh, the standard hammer. And here's what I'm getting to about to uh, that melee weapon that isn't available yet, or, you know, that it's been told that it's available, but not in the game yet. So here we have the butcher's flail, which is getting from the unclean one. Now, although the flail is not available yet, um, no. Now there's been ways on you can get it but you must cheat in order to get it so if anyone's got it at the moment I've been told it's cheating or um, a mod but they say it's not out yet anyway so uh, and now let's start with the, um, uh, now start with the first one uh, the curse gun hang on and along with the blue claws you can get them by doing the ravagers so when on the planet Yaisha, yeah, you're gonna run into the Ravager, and you can either kill it to get a tentacle pod, or you can do the bells. So for the blue claws or the stalker's claws, you just do the puzzle, the bell puzzle, which is uh, quite simple. You just have to do it quick, otherwise it won't really work. With the unremovable mod, which is the leech, where a leech comes out from the ground and basically attacks anything around it. So with the stalker's claw, you can make the blue claws, which is on my back right now. But I got plummet real good. Now, although I didn't get to use a special move on that, uh, it's not to my liking. It's not as strong. Next up, the Defiler, also known as Dodge Dread Gun, to me anyway. And that is our, um, that'd be a thermal geode piece. And you can also get the Lost Harpoon from, right, so these two weapons I mentioned, you can get from the same boss, the Howl, the Horrol. So upon defeating the Horrol, the Horrol, you can either damage it by destroying its legs to get it down twice, to get its Harpoon from the back, or you can kill it and get the Defiler piece. So after getting it down twice by shooting its leg a number of times, I think it's matter of damage you do in a sense. You just run to the back of it, grab that harpoon and jab it outside. So this will be the defiler or the judge dread weapon as I like to call it. Now I'll be cool with that because it kind of looks like it, but then again, it doesn't now. So up next is the Hive Cannon, the Crossbow, the Guardian Axe, all from defeating X-Ladies. 
So X Lilies 14 and 15 can be found on Planet Course, so you can't have to do single player. Or oh, so well not adventure mode anyway, so and this would be the Guardian X for now. Now to get to Hive Gun, um you would have to basically stop one of the butterflies from becoming enraged, so don't let it do its sound beam on you or its sound sonic sh stuff on you. Just make sure stop don't let one of them do it or you can stop both of them up to you. Overall, through the whole time. So this would be the cross row, crossbow I mean, and basically um, you just kill the both butterflies at the same time. So you get one life down to the lowest point but you don't hurt it until you get the other ones down to the lowest point and then you hurt them both and kill them in other words at the same time. So I'm not a big fan of the hunt or pistol, but it's kind of like a sniper in a way we aim for their weak points. But you can find it in the hidden grotto sewage on earth, I will get to that in a sec. Uh, I couldn't find no footage of the hidden grotto um, sewage, but um, once you come across a person coffin next to the um, crystal, and then you'll know you found the right one. She'll give you a key afterwards. So this be on Earth. Now for the Magnum, you get once you get strange coin to Ace. She's a scavenger who's in Ward 13. So pretty simple to find. The repeater you can get from the beginning when helping Ace in the reactor. So no need to tell about that one. So upon going to the ash yard on earth, you run into Singi, the boss, the dragon. So um, there's two weapons you can get from him. One, destroying his weapon, well, killing him. You get a weapon, which is a spitfire, uh, well, a piece anyway. And destroying the tail will also get you a secondary piece, which is a melee smolder weapon, a fire one. So this will be Spitfire, while the modded unremovable one attached to it. And there comes the big ass Rhino. So here would be the Smoldering Melee, I kind of missed there, but um, there's quite a few you can do. As you're running you can just attack and it'll do that spear like thrust. Now for the submachine gun, the submachine gun can be found in Ward 13 at the bottom on B2 or B3 I believe, or yeah B2. And once you go through this door, go down to the corridor, take a right, and then go down that corridor and then go up, there'll be a locked door. And uh, to get that key you must make your way downwards, one more floor, to where you turn the power on, put the fuse in, open the door, Turn the power off, go through the fan, grab the key and then make your way back here. <clears throat> Not to this room exactly, but to this floor. And then you'll get the key for the submachine gun. Or, well, the submachine gun anyway. So upon um, Shaw's field in Earth or on Earth, you'll come across a door, you need the monkey key of course, and you get the AR around the corner along with a note with a couple of dead bodies, a kind of sad story if you get into it.
Uh, I didn't know if I showed a modded version of the beehive um, gun earlier. So here it is. This is the beam rifle. It can be found on Rome. It's good for certain things, I suppose, but uh, not for me. It's too short on bullets and not very effective. So on Rome, in uh, the dungeon of the Lost Gantry, you come across a switch. Uh, open a big ass door that will give you the beam gun. Or when when's on earth and you come by the warren you then go to land's end and once the fight calls you go and save them you have to save both of them you save one you don't get a key you save two you get a key once you get a key from the two lizards any one of them will do you make your way up and you'll find yourself that um that gun so you find yourself a chicago typewriter Now the coach gun can be purchased from rigs or if you require the um, coachress um, uniform then you get it that way. Next up, crossbow. So, um, sorry about the crossbow, you've got a crossbow, we've done that earlier, but uh, next two is the devastator which is the next one up from the crossbow and the wasteland of flail which comes from the same boss. My bad on the um, Wasteland Flail, that's from Rome in the cleaning room on the perk. It's where you get cursed as you make your way through. But uh, for the Devastator, you have to kill the unclean one. And there should be another one for this unclean boss, but it's not available as of yet. I mean, I've tried to kill it a number of times. But, uh, yeah, you can't really get it yeah I mean I've, we all tried many times and killing it in many different ways so next up I have the storm so on Yaisha when at the Tempest Court you come across a totem father boss and if you sh have a red blue statue you get one weapon if you have a red statue you get another. If you ain't got the blue, simply shoot the left or right and it will change. And then you get that one after defeating the boss. So one would be called... The hunting rifle can be purchased by rigs or choosing one of the three classes at the very beginning. Uh, for the partial accelerator and the world break and the world breaker. So when on Rome, the planet, you can find two weapons. You got when you first in the clay figure, club figure, I think. Anyway, and um, you get a world breaker and you get a partial accelerator and. Uh, to get one you defeat him, to get the other you would have to let him absorb one of his people he brought out. Other than that, don't let him take no more. So kill all the minions before you attack him. Uh, my bad I'm not showing the partial accelerator. Um, oh wait, the Isle of Storm earlier, so this is kind of the Isle of Storm now. So the partial accelerator is essentially a wormhole, a black hole when using the mod. But other than that, it's kind of handy when you've got quite a huge amount um, around you. And it keeps the big guys away from you for a little while anyway.
Africa. Uh, and when, since we're here, we might as well do the Repulsa, which is found by defeating the Dreamer at the very end. I mean, it acts as a shotgun, it's real good, but I suppose I'll stick to my standard standard shotgun. Oh, and the mod is the standard uh, make you stand for, like free shoe, but you can't shoot them after that. And uh, um, World Breaker is a cohesion one, it deploy well, its purpose of defeating armor, easier to attack and kill. Richard Shade Rifle. We're gonna get back to the Richard Shade Rifle in a second, but in the meantime, the rune weapon you can get from the Undying King. So, defeat the Undying King, there's no need to be anything special about it, but yeah. <coughs> so, at the Undying Throne, come across the Undying King, and that is where you can get your rune gun. Now, I forgot the do the footage, but the rune gun is kind of okay, but the single shot is not great, in my opinion. And it's a standard uh, scrap one, you can get that from Riggs, or you can get it from a Colt. I mean, as you're wearing a certain costume, out of the three. <clears throat> now the Richard Shade um, rifle can be found by the Undercoff. Um, dungeon in Yaisha is when you come across the Blinking Thief. So you got three chances in order to get this. Um, once you're on the Undercoff um, dungeon, you basically gonna appear every well three times. You're gonna appear for twelve seconds a time. Now my buddy there, my teammate, he done a wormhole that made it go greatly so I appreciate that he helped really good there man that was I would have been I don't know how many times I've done, tried getting that anyway a wormhole a possibly now the sniper rifle can be found when you're at the church on the main campaign so you take your way downstairs after saving the rook um slave and then downstairs you'll find a lockers and there be crates in the way so you want to destroy the crates and then you'll get your sniper all right here's another two you can get um spores bloom and petrified mola from the same boss known as the ent or the walking tree giant tree <clears throat> now there's two ways on getting these two weapons and you have to do the boss twice so one way is defeating him with his legs intact, the other reason, other way is defeating him with his legs not attached. So you blow the hell out of those legs until they fling off like that tail from the ash. Like the Sing boss, the Singy boss. So there's the end going down from Lord of the Rings, or the Hobbit, but you know taller. Alright, the scrap hatchet and the scrap hammer you can find from rigs for around 600 each. Uh, same for the scrap. Again, they're all pretty good, but overall I use the scrap hammer. The raven can be found by accepting the offer of the Undying King and returning to him with the heart, and he will give you this raven weapon. The Sith or Scythe. I don't know how you pronounce that, but that can be purchased from the Ishkar Queen in course without needing to provide the heart to her. And lastly but not least is the spear. You can get it from Yaisha, the merchant on planet Yaisha. But yeah, um, it's kind of okay spear from long range, you just poke them. So we've still got 
Um, new stuff coming as of yet, so as they're not finished with the updates and you know with the that melee weapon I mentioned beforehand where you got killed on clean one, that still hasn't popped up yet. So maybe if it does truly assist as it's on their page, maybe when it does come out, that is part of the update. Uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, share how you feel. I mean, if I did great or bad, let me know. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this video here was where I tried for a new weapon. I thought I would uh, get low health on both of them, then finish them, but nothing happened. So that's that. Anyway, cheers.